Today we're going to do a 2020 tour of the GoDaddy control panel. I have some notes to assist you so you'll be able to skip ahead to the relevant things. Everything in red here is things that we'll be discussing. This is just a quick overview. I will probably do some more detailed um, videos on the specifics. So the first thing that we're going to start with is the home page. So the home page, this is the starting point of the training. Here you'll find everything that you need to navigate your account. In the top right, right over here, um, you'll see your name. By clicking on that, you can access your account number and PIN, which means you can also update your PIN number, your pro dashboard, your products, account settings, renewal, and billing. But right now, we're going to look at the main menu, which is right here. In the main menu, you can access your profile, renewals and billing, payment methods, so you can update your credit cards, order history, login and PIN, delegate access, domain defaults, contact preferences, and payees. The first thing that we're going to look at, and one of the important things in there, and one of the things that we use the most, is your profile. As I said, this is where you can update your contact details, name, etc. So you would just go here, click on my profile, and you would be able to update those items. The next one, and probably the thing that I get asked about the most, is the delegate access tab. So the delegate access tab is useful if you want to give someone access to build a website for you and you're a GoDaddy customer, or if you're a GoDaddy pro and you want to get access to build someone's website. So all you would do, as I've just done, is go to account settings, delegate access. If you want to invite someone, so if you need us to build your website, what you'll do is click on invite to access, and then you'll put quiz Zard, and then you'll put the our email addresses, which is my, oh sorry, which is my website, casa at gmail.com so you'll just put our um, email address you'll put quizard um, in addition to that there's three levels of access in order to build your website really all we need is products and domains and then you'll click invite after you click invite it will send an invitation to us and we'll accept that invitation and get started if you are requesting access um, from someone else what you would do is go to the bottom you won't have as many as I do and then you would just click request access and then you would um, put the person's email address and phone number. So that's everything in delegate access. So we're gonna go back to the home page. You can do that by just clicking in the top left where you see the GoDaddy logo and that's gonna take you to the original or it's gonna, there you go, um, visit my account. Now we're going to look at something that was just something new that I saw today, which was payees. If you're a GoDaddy Pro, which you can sign up right over here, if you're a GoDaddy Pro and you are generating money from your websites or the websites that you're building, you can um, assign how your payments are received. If you want more information about GoDaddy Pro, you can always um, contact me. Now the other thing that you'll see in your menu is the domains. So it will list all of your domains. As you can see, I have quite a few domains. Some of them are for sale. Um, but then you can also go to other pages. But what we're gonna look at, and this is something that I get asked about um, quite often, is the DNS and forwarding. If you need to make any DNS updates, this is where you do it. So you would just simply click on where it says DNS, right there going to take you into another page where you can manage your DNS settings. So this is where specifically you can add a forwarding. So you would just click add and then put where you want it to forward to. And that's pretty much it as far as the DNS and forwarding. We're going to go back a page. So the next major heading in there is websites and marketing. I'm not going to go into too much details with websites and marketing, but this is where any of the um, web builder accounts will show up. It shows up here, but then it also conveniently shows up there. So that's websites and marketing. Um, we're going to go into detail on the web hosting. That's the next one, but for now we're going to just skip ahead to email and office. 
So with the emails and office, this is where you can manage your Office 365 account. So what you will find is depending on the promotion that you get, GoDaddy might give you a free Office 365 account for one year, especially if you use my link. If you use my link, website or hosting.com, you can get one year of hosting and a free domain name. And that's where you'll also get the free Office 365 for one year. One thing that I will caution though, if you accept the free Office 365 offer, you will only have one email address. So if you need multiple email addresses, it's probably best not to accept the offer and just use the webmail, which I'll show you shortly. The next part is SSL certificates. Now SSL certificates are really important. If you have a website and you don't have an SSL certificate, um, you might find that when some people try to access your website, they're unable to access it or it gives them a error message. Um, it will say that this site is unsafe. The next item is smart phone line service. This is a great service that GoDaddy offers. So this is for anyone who wants a business telephone number, a very um, manageable business phone number. You can turn it on, turn it off at specific times and it forwards to your existing phone. So it doesn't mean that you have to have an additional telephone. It will give you a business phone number. Um, and then you have additional products and services. Now, because I'm a GoDaddy Pro and I have a lot of different things going on, um, I have all of these options. You may find that you just have um, just domains, website and marketing, web hosting, email, and then you may not have these other items. But now we're gonna get into the web hosting. This is the core of this training pretty much because most of you re watching this video are going to be my clients. And this is how you're gonna access your WordPress and this is how you're gonna access your website. So what you'll do is you will go into your web hosting, depending on how many hosting packages you have, you'll see a different amount here. But um, because I have quite a lot of different hosting packages, that's why you see so many here. And then you'll just click on manage. Now when you click on manage, it will take you to another screen. This screen is also a really good dashboard for managing your hosting package. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can do from here. You can access your PHP admin, your farm manager, FTP manager, and GoDaddy analytics. I'm not gonna go into that. Now, very quickly, if you were just looking to get go into your um, hosting, your domain name or the website that we're building for you, as a quick access, you could just click on manage. But before we get to that, I am gonna show you the cPanel because the cPanel has a lot of really interesting um, tools and really interesting information. This is where you can install WordPress, but the cPanel is really more of a technical area, so you might not need to come in here, but I want you to know where it is just in case you do. So this is where you can find the file manager. That's a listing of all the files on your website, your databases, your domain. So if you purchase an additional domain name, this is where you can add it to your hosting package. Um, metrics, I, I never really use this. Your software, so by going into Installatron um, applications, you can access the existing WordPress installations. Um, security, um, I'm not gonna get into that. Now email, this is where you can add email accounts. This is where you can set up email addresses as long as you're using webmail. So you'd simply click on email accounts. It's gonna give you that message saying that it's moved. And then you can add new email addresses just by clicking create. I'll do a separate video on that process, but I just wanted to let you know where it is. Um, and from here, you can access your WordPress installation just by clicking under where it says software, click Installatron applications. I will stress, this is the long way of accessing it. There is another way, which I'll go over with you shortly, but this is the long way of doing it by going through your cPanel. And in here, you'll see all of the different um, sites that you have. If you have an economy package, you can only install one domain name, but you can have subfolders like what I have here. For a deluxe or ultimate package, you can have unlimited websites on there, unlimited domain names. The three things I want to point out on this page 
is your applications. These are your WordPress installations and your backups. Now backups are really important. Make sure anytime you make any meaningful updates to your website, you back it up. And then applications browser, that's where you can find the WordPress um, installation tool. It's a one click installation. We're gonna go back to my applications. I'm gonna just show you what these buttons do. Um, now, if you want to delete a installation of WordPress, you would simply select it here and then press this X, which will be uninstalled. Then it will take you to another screen that will basically ask you, are you sure? This is a really great feature that GoDaddy has that I haven't seen with any other hosting packages. This is where you can actually clone or duplicate a site. What I do when I build a website for my clients, I build an actual website and then I build a clone of that site which is for their training. This is where they can practice the things that I've taught them and this is where they can go in and not be afraid of making any mistakes because it won't impact their live site. Um, this is where you do the backup. So as I said, anytime you make a meaningful change to your website, you do want to back it up. So you'll simply click this and then click backup and it will back it up. Um, this tool right here is where you can view the edits, etc. I never really use that. And then this where is where you can update the um, the instance of WordPress. I never really usually do that. But if you want to just access your website, as you can see, there's three lines of text. The first line is where you would access the front end of the site. The second line where it says um, .com and then it ends with WP slash admin. That's how you get into your WordPress dashboard. And then the second, the, sorry, the third one is just WordPress.org. So we're going to end the training here. I'm just going to do a quick recap. I'm going to go to the original page. Remember I told you that there's a long way of logging in through your cPanel and a short way of logging in. We went through the long way. If we wanted to end up at that exact same place as we were when we went through cPanel and then Installatron, you could simply just click on manage and that's going to take you to managing your WordPress installations but it's gonna take you directly to your back end. So let me correct that. It's gonna take you directly to the back end or the WordPress dashboard for that specific installation. So this is where you would go to your WordPress to manage your WordPress or to update your site. So again, the long way to go into your WordPress would be to go to cPanel, then Installatron. If you wanna go directly into the site, you would just click there. I just want to thank you for watching my video. Don't forget, we're here. We build websites for clients. We specialize in WordPress and we work exclusively with GoDaddy. Our prices are quite reasonable. Um, we do also do bespoke websites where we do custom coding and build them from scratch. Our basic WordPress websites start at $5.95. If you don't have enough content for a full website, you can, we can just build a website for you for $99. If you need something a little bit more exotic, um, but a WordPress site, it goes up to $9.95. Here's everything that you get. If you need a bespoke website, our bespoke website, website start at $5,000 um, or pounds, depending on where you are. Um, for more information, please give us a call on 832-541-2161 or you can email mywebsitecasa at gmail.com. If you're looking for really cheap GoDaddy hosting, just go to websiteorhosting.com, click on start now, and it's gonna take you into your options. So there's three options. You can get the economy, the deluxe, or the ultimate. If you're just building one website, or if you're just getting started, the economy is usually more than enough for most people, you just click add to cart when you click add to cart it will say good news you get a free domain name with this order the free domain name must be a dot com it won't apply to any other extension so um, just select a name and then you would continue from there I'll do a different video on how to purchase hosting but thanks for listening this was a quick overview of GoDaddy and the GoDaddy control panel